Okay, awesome. Hi, Jaden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, really appreciate you taking the time and everything. I just wanted to start off and ask, how has 2023 been treating you so far? Really well. Um, so I've released two singles this year, which has been like a dream come true for me because I've been looking into music for so long. Um, and just like I've been baking a lot more, hanging out with friends and family, and it's just been a really like comfortable year. I love it. Yeah, I read in your bio that you love baking. Is there anything like yeah. that you love to bake like recently? Yeah, so cheesecake is actually my specialty. So I make uh, gourmet cheesecakes and sell them to like friends and family and stuff. Okay. And um, I've been doing apple pies and stuff recently too. Oh my gosh, multifaceted, talented everywhere. I love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, your new song Tornado just came out like a couple weeks ago at this point. Um, for those who haven't heard the song yet, um, how would you kind of describe the song and what it personally means to you? I think for me, um, growing up in the industry, it's always been like I've been longing to live that like teenager life and being able to like go out with my friends and do stuff like that. But, you know, in the music video, you also get to see that like my parents are like, clean your room and be responsible. <laughs> and it's always that like tug of war with wanting to for your parents to be proud of you and to have fun. So I think um, I think that's a really relatable like music video and song for kids my age. Do you have a favorite lyric from Tornado? If you had to uh, choose. <laughs> good question. Um, let's see. Man, um, probably tired of being locked up in a box. I think that's like probably the most relatable to me. Um, I think it's like wanting to not always do school or not always do this and being able to like go out and like party and stuff like that. I think that's a really relatable one. <laughs> I love it. Also kind of has like almost Barbie movie vibes of like the being in a box type thing. I love it. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, along with your music video, um, kind of how did the visual concept for the video come about? Like who came up with the idea and everything? Yeah, so me and my dad and uh, Prime Cut, they directed all four of the music videos that um, two more will be coming out later. Um, but yeah, we all just kind of got together and came up with a, this idea of like a house party. And um, I actually snuck out of my actual bedroom. So in the music video, oh. it's my actual bedroom. <laughs> And my bedroom is on the second story and they had to take out the the screen of the window. And I was so nervous because all I had to do was put my leg out of the window and like, yeah. <laughs> but it was so nerve wracking because I was like, but what if I fall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the um, idea was, um, it was, it was really fun because I got to invite like a lot of my friends to my house and it was like lights, balloons. It was just so much fun. So it kind of felt like real life almost because you were like yeah. in the same state. I love it. Um, do you have a favorite scene that you got to shoot in the music video? Like if you had to choose? Um, I think one of my favorites is all, I think it was five of us. We were walking down the street in the music video and we're all in like this like V formation and we all have like a thing that we yeah. do. Like, <laughs> pop the color, glasses, something like that. I think that was so iconic. <laughs> I love it. It's like a classic girl group moment. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, your debut single, Bop Star, is also so much fun. I wanted to ask, what was it like getting to introduce yourself into the world of music with that song? And kind of like, what made you choose that song as the initial single? Yeah, um, I think I wanted to come out with like a boom, like one that was really, really <laughs> fun, really like, you know, something that will get stuck in your head. Um, I initially got into music because my dad has been into music for pretty much most of his life. And growing up, I was just always around him, you know, working on his passion projects and doing the things that he loved surrounding music. And I knew that acting wasn't the only thing that um, I loved and it wasn't the only thing that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So I think that music and baking really like introduced me into something new. Um, but singing and doing music is definitely like one of my favorite things to do right now. It's it's so much fun being able to like being in the studio and having that creative control over most of the songs to where I can be like, mm, I like this better or something like that. Oh. It's just, it's really cool. I love it. Um, are there any music artists right now that are like currently inspiring your artistry and that like you're really vibing with right now? Yeah, um, probably Tate McRae, Sabrina Carpenter, and Olivia Rodrigo for sure. Um, that new album Guts was iconic, and it was That's amazing. A hit. <laughs> um, and then emails I can't send that entire album by Sabrina was amazing as well. So I think all three of them really just like spoke to me with their music and their tone and the things that they sing about. It's just really cool. So you have great taste. It shows. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song from Guts? 
Um, that's a good question. Probably making the bed or um ballad of a homeschooled girl. I think Make, those two. making the bed is mine too. It's a yeah. it's a classic. <laughs> Love it. Um, and then I wanted to ask, looking into your future, um, because we're manifesting this. If you yeah. were to ever go on tour, where is one place that you'd love to visit? Um, probably Japan. I think like I love the culture and I love everything about Japan. I've always wanted to go there. Um, I'm trying to think. I would love to perform in Puerto Rico because I am um half Puerto Rican as well. So I think being able to go there on the island and like have a show there would be amazing. World world tour on the way and coming. I know. <laughs> love <Everywhere>. it. <laughs> Uh, and then at just 12 years old, you've accomplished so many amazing things. So what's one goal you have for yourself that you'd like to accomplish within the next few years? I think I've always really wanted to like make my baking business into something more because right now it's mainly for friends and family. So the people that are closest to me that I can reach out like, hey, do you want an apple pie or cookies or something like that? But I've always wanted to make it into an actual small business to where it's open for others and I'm able to, you know, ship the cakes and everything to everyone. Um, That has always been like a dream of mine. And then to continue with music as well, like I have my next single coming out next month. It's called Gone with the Wind. Um, And that is probably one of my favorites coming out. Um, It is definitely slower than my other songs, but it means so much to me. And um, it just has a lot to do with like mental health and everything like that. And that is something that I love to speak about and something that I talk about a lot. Um, So yeah, just more music, more baking and just getting to, you know, like boost my baking business a little bit more. You're you're an entrepreneur already, like you're killing it. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, yeah, you just mentioned um, Gone with the Wind, but I wanted to ask kind of as the final question here, what can you tease to fans about what they can expect from you in the near future? Yeah, um, so Gone with the Wind will be coming out sometime next month. I'll keep that secret for a little while. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it is definitely something um, to anticipate because it is an amazing song and there's many more to come. Um, and the next year, since Halloween is coming up, I thought I'd mention I filmed a feature film called Hauntology. Um, it is a horror movie and it was oh. so much fun because I am a scary movie lover. Like the entire Scream yeah. franchise is my favorite like ever. You get it. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I want to see Saw too. Um, yeah. But like next year, it will be in film festival, film festivals in 2024. Um, so that's going to be really exciting as well. I'm so excited for you. Hopefully, hoping you don't die in the movie. We want you to be I a fun know. girl. <laughs> <You're crossed. laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with me today. And I'm sending nothing but positive energy your way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.